moved into the Worth Hotel just a year or two ago, and it seems that my boys, Lee and Will, are still getting used to these new surroundings. Lee's 10, and he's growing up to be a fine young man, but Will's only 6, and he hardly remembers not being here in Carrollton. When my husband Robert died, I didn't have much choice except to pack up our things and come to work here as a cook. The Mole sisters are just the nicest, most charitable ladies I've ever met, and I don't know how I can ever thank them enough. My only wish, really, is that the boys are happy here. Sometimes Ma lets me help in the kitchen, but I'd much rather be playing outside with Lee. I'll have to start going to school soon since I'm six and all, but I don't want to. Lee tells me I can trade marbles with the other boys in the schoolyard, but everyone knows that the best, that the best place to play marbles is right up on the front porch. The hotel is the best place to live. I mean, with people coming and going all day, I'm not sure how a kid could be more entertained. The best bit is that sometimes men will come off the train, and I'll be real polite and watch your luggage for them. After they're done eating up some of Ma's dinner, and sometimes coffee along with that, they'll flip me a nickel and tip their hats at me. I guess I tip my hat back, but I hardly ever wear one. It's hard to sleep sometimes when the salesmen are down in the parlor smoking and laughing and telling stories. I've sometimes crawled out of bed and out the door without Ma noticing and going to the stairs to listen. But she always catches me. Speaking of Ma, she probably wants me and Lee to do some chores. The folks here are nice. The mole sisters pitch my cheeks sometimes, but I don't even mind that. Mr. Langford is getting married next month, and Ma says it'll be a shame to see him go. Of course, I agree. I used to stay up late listening to his stories till Ma would go and scold me and tell me to go to bed. I think Miss Eula may be sweet on Mr. Miller, but don't tell anyone I ever said that. The one person in this whole place I don't like too much is Mr. Stewart. There's something not right about him, and he's got a real temper. I wouldn't go talk to him or anything. <laughs>